move to item 3.12, Chancellor's report. Thank you, President Gonzalez Brito. Good evening, colleagues, uh, community. Um, we're going to start tonight with uh, short reports from our college presidents. So we'll start with Dr. Denise Richardson at Berkeley City College. Good evening, Chancellor Gilkerson, Board President Gonzalez Brito, colleagues, students, and members of the community. To our Board of Trustees, I would like to extend our appreciation for supporting our Umoja Scholars Program ratification, grant ratification, under the very capable leadership of Director Shannon Penn and Counselor Skylar Barton, our Umoja program enhances the educational and cultural experiences of African-American students by providing a space that supports their growth as scholars while also honoring their ethnic identities through curriculum and pedagogy that are responsive to the legacy of the African and African-American diasporas. Second, I would like to remind everyone that our 50th anniversary celebration is right around the corner, April 23rd. I hope you all have it marked on your calendars from 11 to four. And to add to the excitement at two o'clock, we will have our groundbreaking of our new building. So we're all very excited about that as that will be a big milestone for the college and for the community. On Thursday, March 21st, BCC hosted a very well-attended event that commemorated the transformative contributions of Dolores Huerta, Larry Itlong, and Cesar Chavez, all immensely instrumental activists who organized farm workers as they fought for better pay and fair working conditions. While most of us have heard of Dolores Huerta and Cesar Chavez, few of us have heard of Larry Itlong, but it turns out that he actually coordinated a massive grape, grape strike in California's Coachella Valley in 1965. This event was planned in collaboration with some of our valued community partners and was themed environmental justice starts with us, calling attention to our collective responsibility to educate ourselves and our students about the intersection of health as well as social environmental justice. I'd like to thank our HCI director, Lizette Flores and her team for her excellent leadership and coordination of this event. This concludes my report for Berkeley City College. Thank you so much, Dr. Richardson. Um, next, we'll move to Laney College, Dr. Rudy Besikoff. Good evening, Chancellor Gilkerson, uh, Board President uh, Gonzalez Brito, members of the Governing Board, colleagues in education, and of course, our valued students and community members. I'd like to start off this evening uh, by extending congratulations to the Laney College women's basketball team. Uh, they went down swinging against Moore Park College and really put up a truly valiant effort. And within your board report this evening, I have photos, uh, not only of the team, but also uh, an event in which uh, they were honored uh, prior to the uh, Elite Eight tournament. In your board report this evening, you have two items uh, for Laney College that I'd like to go ahead and uh, provide a bit of context for. The first of these is an agreement with the Lao Family Community Development, um, someone who has been a great, great partner to Laney College, especially to our uh, ESOL student population. Um, by approving, by considering this for approval this evening, you are really allowing for an opportunity for extended employment training, um, some workshops around job seeking, as well as uh, career placement assistance for many of our students um, in their efforts to, to get a sustainable employment. So it's something that's great. And then finally, um, I realize you see SFO Airporter and you think, well, it's a bus company, okay. But it means so much more. Uh, in addition to giving our student athletes the chance to travel for competition, this will also uh, be the means by which our Puente students will, for the first time in many cases, be, be visiting four-year college campuses around our state. And as a former uh, administrative liaison for the Puente program, all I can tell you is just the, the emotion and the excitement and the passion with which these students return stays all the way through the school year. So. And with that, I'll go ahead and conclude my reports, report this evening. Thank you, Dr. Besikoff. Next turn to Dr. David Johnson from Mayor College. Good evening, Chancellor Gilkerson, President Gonzalez Brito, board, colleagues, and community. Two very brief highlights. Um, I'm pleased to share that uh, California Secretary of State, the Honorable Dr. Shirley N. Weber, uh, she's agreed to be our speaker at commencement. Um, so we'll be, we're going to be celebrating our graduates on Monday, May 20th, 5 to 8 at the Paramount. So we hope to see you there to cheer on our students and hear uh, Dr. Weber's remarks on the importance of education and political participation. Uh, secondly, I want to take a moment to formally congratulate 
Miss Isela Santana. So Isela was recently appointed by the UC Regents uh, to serve as the, let me get it right, the English Instructor Training Coordinator for the Statewide Puente Project. Um, it was a very competitive process, selection process, um, but given her nearly 20 years of uh, experience with Merit's Puente program, um, their confidence in her is well-founded. So congratulations, Isela, and uh, that concludes my report. Thank you so much, Dr. Johnson. And now I'm pleased to take a moment of privilege to introduce and welcome Dr. Pamela Lester, who is now serving as the acting president of College of Alameda. Dr. Lester, I'll turn it over to you for any comments tonight. Thank you so much. It's really an honor and privilege to be here with you and sitting in the seat at College of Alameda. I could not be happier about doing this. So in your board report tonight, trustees, chancellor, colleagues, students, and community members, uh, we've highlighted some community opportunities for College of Alameda with our Chamber and Economic Alliance, with working with our local high schools and working on the international high school after high school options. We have some introductions for our new part-time counselors, and we're very excited to host the uh, all Peralta Classified Professionals Day on Thursday. So with that, I will turn it back to you, Chancellor. Thank you so much. Um, trustees, tonight, um, before I begin my report, I want to correct an error that was made at last board meeting. On action item 9.2 regarding the renewal of the PeopleSoft regression testing contract, the board summary and in my comments, we presented that the term of the contract was for a year and runs through May 29th, 2025. In fact, the contract runs through August 20th, 2025. The attachments included on the agenda item were correct, but my statement and the summary were incorrect. So I wanted to come back to you and the public to correct the record. We are working to ensure that such mistakes do not happen in the future. I especially want to honor and appreciate student trustee Vasquez's question regarding this item and um, thank her for those comments. Now I'll go ahead and turn um, to my presentation. Um, so on Thursday, March 14th, I had the honor of joining a room full of scholar athletes as part of the SOAR leadership panel at Laney College. SOAR stands for Student Onboarding Assistance and Retention. The panel was put together by SOAR Success Program Specialists Tanya Mitchell and Jay Gomez in collaboration with Laney College Athletics Director John Beam. The career panel aimed to honor our community by featuring diverse speakers to illuminate conventional and unconventional careers um, beyond Laney. It was a powerhouse panel. I was honored to hear Casella Crockett, Delisa Rucker, and Sonia Beam Phillips share their journeys. They raised awareness about the initial steps in career building and networking and guided the participants towards their next steps. Next up, our meet and greet with the COA Acting President, Dr. Pam Lester. On Wednesday, March 20th, it was my pleasure to help wel welcome Dr. Pam Lester as the Acting President of College of Alameda with informal gathering question answer system. She was there three days into her new role at the time, so it was a nice way for the COA community to get to know the new Acting President. Invid individuals who participated learned that Dr. Lester likes reading a good political thriller and dislikes what she calls administrivia, where we can get caught up in the details of process when we just need to get stuff out of the way um, of students who need to make progress. I loved her term smile season, which we are rolling into now, uh, the late spring period when graduation celebrations start happening which is the best time of the year. So welcome again to Dr. Lester. Thanks for your service in our district. You heard it from a lot of folks tonight, but I'll say it again. On Friday, March 22nd, Dr. Goldstein, Tashada Henry, and I, the three tied chairs of the Participatory Governance Council, hosted a planning and budget integration model summit at the District Service Center Atrium. It was a wonderful to bring together more than 50 faculty members, classified professionals, administrators, and especially students for a rich discussion about participatory governance and real collaboration at the Peralta Community College District. There were many highlights of the day, but two things in particular stand out. When asked to creatively convey successful participatory governance, one group put words into the Annie theme song and sang, the sum will come out at Peralta. 
Another group that included student trustee Natasha Masson illustrated student-centered governance by drawing students inside a hand shaping a heart, which is now in the door of my office. I truly love it. On Monday, um, March 25th, just, I mean, goodness, it was just yesterday, uh, at the District Service Center, more than 50 administrators across the district gathered. We enjoyed an excellent lunch and dancing to Bruno Mars before diving into team activities to understand what it means to be a mission-driven organization. What does it look like? What does it sound like? What does it feel like? We talked about the barriers and roadblocks that existed in the past, and I challenged them, the management of our district, to remove those barriers and roadblocks in the service of our students and community. I am very hopeful about the path forward for the Peralta Community College District. Lift Your Voice is a publication of the Leadership Institute for Tomorrow at Cal State Fullerton, which aims to impact higher education systems and communities by developing a new generation of diverse, confident, and competent leaders with the change agency to reconstruct community colleges, universities, and organizations into just, equitable, and inclusive institutions free of racism. The Peralta Colleges once again are well represented in the March 2024 issue, which includes an article by Andrea Williams, Career and Transfer Coordinator at Berkeley City College, along with a beautiful poem from a former BCC student, Angela Sunlight, about Andrea, and a column on mentoring from Dr. Shalaman Duke, Dean of Special Programs and Grants at College of Alameda. Congratulations to our colleagues. The Laney College Photography Dual Enrollment Program that partners with Fremont Middle, Fremont High Media Academy was recognized as a distinguished California part, a part, Partnership Academy by the California Department of Education earlier this month. Fremont High Media Academy is one of the four OUSD, Oakland Unified School District High Schools, that participate in the college dual enrollment photography program offered at Laney College and taught by Laney photography instructor Michael Moya. Congratulations to Professor Moya, Laney College Dual Enrollment, and Fremont High Media Academy on the statewide honor. More publication news. Uh, I'd like to recognize Laney College faculty members, Heather Cisneros and Tuan Nguyen, who co-authored the, the article, Artificial Intelligence, Generative AI and Ethics, an Education Perspective. You heard from President Goldstein tonight about the work we're doing in this district around that, but they are in the February 2024 issue of the Rostrum, the official publication of the Academic Senate of California Community Colleges. Laney College is one of the first institutions in the state offering a program on artificial intelligence and data analytics. So it's nice to see yet again, thought leadership in groundbreaking areas coming from the Peralta Colleges. Finally, at the last meeting, I highlighted a really beautiful article um, in The Citizen about trustee Naomi Vasquez. And last week, The Citizen social media editor Isabel Saboy Barbosa posted an equally lovely article about student trustee Natasha Masson. It was an enlightening to learn more about Natasha's background as a child of immigrants and how Berkeley City College work as a student ambassador and then becoming a student trustee has helped grow her confidence personally. I'm looking forward to see what she's able to continue to accomplish that as, as a student trustee. And that ends and concludes my comments for this evening. Thank you. Thank you, Chancellor. With that, uh, we're gonna move into our presentations. Um, 4.1 presentation on OPEC. Bond.